Oh, sorry. So yeah, this is the masjid or mosque. A reflection into some of the culture here of the people. Let's see what it reads, guys. Let's read it together. It says, Sri Hindu Temple Moshi. So that goes to show you the reflection of the diversity here. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and at the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro, the most, one of the most famous mountains in the world, you will find Moshi City. Now Moshi City is actually the capital of the Kilimanjaro region here in northern Tanzania. Jijila Moshi and is also known as Jijila Kahawa because it produces some of the most finest coffee in Tanzania and across the world. Today we'll be exploring Moshi in detail and getting a vibe of this city here so you can see what it's like here in Moshi. It's quite a warm day today. It's around 27 degrees Celsius and the time now is 10 minutes past 2 p.m. So we'll be exploring the city together. So if you're new to the channel, do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni sana Tanzania, Karibuni sana Moshi. Okay guys, we're going to kick off the walk by the famous clock tower here in Moshi and that's by Nyerere Road and we'll be just walking straight down. We'll see the marketplace where some of the intercity buses terminate, some of the shopping areas. So yeah, we'll be exploring it together guys. First impression, really nice vibe here in Moshi very spacious in my in, in my opinion it, it seems to be well maintained in terms of the cleanliness as you can see right now i'm walking on a sidewalk so that these are some of the positive vibes about it so far people seem to be quite chilled kind of laid back vibe but there's still business happening so yeah i'm liking moshi so far it's, it's really nice I mean, for many people coming to Moshi, here would literally be like a transit point to go to uh, the Mount Kilimanjaro for hiking. So not many people may come and really explore the city. And that's tourists, that is, who visit here. But I think this city definitely has a lovely charm about it. And we'll see you that together today so this right here is like a restaurant and you can get fruit juices and different things like that so that's really cool like you can see here it's called uh, fresh restaurant breakfast lunch and dinner and these are some of the things you can get here so you have tea with milk coffee black tea chicken roasted chicken fruit juice so yeah this is the vibe here and it's it's it's, it's a real nice setup in my view from what I'm seeing so that's the entrance to it here so that's fresh restaurant you can't miss it it's like at the beginning of the Nyerere road business is booming here I mean in terms of seem to be construction boom here as well because these are new build and it hasn't been completed on the higher floors but I guess that's work in progress so that's it's, it's always good to see this type of upliftment in the city. So it's definitely a, in 
terms of the religions in the area is certainly mixed in terms of Christianity the main denominations you will find is Lutheran and also Roman Catholic so the Lutheran and Roman Catholic missionaries did a lot for propagating their doctrine in the city and it's clearly visible today clearly visible today and you also have sizable Muslim population here as well so across the street this is the central mosque I believe here in Moshi one of the biggest in the city so this here is actually the bus station where you get the local dollar dollars and the other buses but we're not going to go in there right now let's cross the street really warm today guys Woo! and I'm wearing a jumper because I'm coming from Arusha it was a bit cold this morning but I can feel the heat here in Arusha right now in Moshi right now sorry so yeah this is the masjid or mosque a reflection into some of the culture here of the people So it was established from what I'm seeing in 1955 and it reads no one to be worshipped but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet so yeah this a reflection of the religion of the people in this area here Christianity and uh, Islam dominate in terms of traditional religious belief, you'll, you'll probably be far and few who practice indigenous religions and most likely it will be in the village area. Okay, so let's walk on. Okay, so most likely when you're coming to Moshi, if you're coming here by bus, you'll be coming to this area where I'm about to take you. And that's like the bus station for the intercity buses and also the local Dala Dala buses as well. This is this is the local Dala Dala bus station and right by the bus station there's also kind of like a mini shopping mall you have various local businesses here and there's also the toilet now that's something you may want to know in case you come here and you happen to need the toilet you can also get it here to use is around 300 Tanzanian shillings that's it here true kisafi meaning clean toilet you know, sometimes, especially people who visit for the first time and they're not used to some of the 
the foods here in Tanzania, it may upset your stomach. If you have a sensitive stomach. So it's good to know where you can find a toilet if you need it. So this section here of the bus terminal is where you will find the intercity buses, okay? So even to go to Arusha, to go to Dar es Salaam, to go to, to different places, this is where you'll find the bigger buses. And like we've seen in Dar es Salaam, these are all the sellers that will approach the various buses when they come to the station and try to sell them stuff here in Moshi. But it's a cool vibe, you know, it's a cool vibe. So this is what it's like. So when you come here, most likely you'll be coming here by bus. This is what you ex you'll expect to see. And these are on the right that you're seeing here, these are all local vendors and they sell various things from hats to wat watches. You can get water, you can redraw money if you have M-Pesa. So these are some of the similar themes you will see in various places we'll be exploring together. <laughs> These are the bajajis, they're lined up. So we're coming up to a primary school here. And right next to the primary school, I'm seeing a temple. And this is a unique type of temple in the sense, I believe it, it's a Hindu temple. So that also shows the reflection of the diversity of culture, culture in the region. This person is selling herbal products here, herbs, medicine made from various herbs here. Yeah, so yeah, very interesting. Let's see what it reads, guys. Let's read it together. It says, Sri Hindu Temple Moshi. So that goes to show you the reflection of the diversity here. And this is what it looks like inside.
Very interesting. These are all cultural bracelets and necklaces made from beads. You will find this when you travel to mostly all towns and cities in Tanzania. We have a seamstress here of course doing her sewing something seem to be quite a few on these streets says like a local bookshop and I've seen like this is my first one I'm seeing here so it's called the Tattoo Book Center. And with these bookshops, you will get a lot of books in Kiswahili language. Sometimes you might even get some Swahili learning books. Here there's like traditional clothing being sold and all of that on this street here. Really nice vibe in Moshi. Yeah, I'm liking it. get tiles if you're building your property there's tiles and so on available really nice city Most, I'm seeing more seamstresses here as well, sewing traditional garments made from lovely colorful fabric. Wow. More seamstresses. You know, in the other cities I've been to, I've seen a lot of tailors, men doing the sewing, but here I'm seeing more women doing the sewing. We learn something in every area or town we visit. The roads are really wide and clean in Moshi. I'm really liking it. And the roads are also labeled quite well. This is a hostel here. Many backpackers will stay at this one. Clamber's home, Clamber's home, hostel. I think we're coming up to more people that are sewing. So, I mean, if you got garments you like, to get sewn when you come to Tanzania, some cloth you might like, then definitely you can get that done here in Moshi. Kindo, Kindoroko Hotel. So we on, we see the signs, these are what the road signs are like here, so for example here on JK Nyerere, right, and then this road here, 
on the left will lead us to Viwanda Road. So these are what the signs are like here for labeling of the roads and down this side will lead you to Viranda Road. Whoa, I need to be careful. They're coming in quickly. Real nice guys, I, I'm taking it all in, I hope you are doing the same. But so far Moshi is, in my view, is one of the cleanest cities I've been to here in Tanzania, one off easily. And I like the fact that I'm seeing a lot of people are wearing really colorful clothing, you know, that's sewn by the tailors and seamstresses here in the area. That's really nice. It's, it's, it's giving the area a really nice cultural charm as well. So I've noticed that in the northern regions as well. Of course, like on the coastal side, you'll see women wearing ketenge and different things like that. But here, I'm seeing women wearing the full dress not just for the for the lower area but the full dress they're wearing so that's that's really interesting for example this lady here she's wearing full dress made from the colorful fabric here in the area Wow, we got a road named Somali Road. Let's take a let's take a walk up Somali Road. Another reflection of the diversity here in the area. Somali Road. All right. Over the years you had people that migrated so you have new people moving in so the road the name of the road may reflect people from a long time ago so far i'm walking i haven't seen any somalians somalians So there may have been a lot of Somalians living or doing business on this side of the road a long time ago. But there are Somalians living in this region. But I'm not seeing many of them on the road here today. Wow.